quite a few new things with, with new gold. Uh, it was the first commodity product in the South Africa and still the only one, um, the first, the biggest ETF. And now it's the first ETF listed, secondary listed in another market. Mm -hmm. Why Botswana? We, we have worked with, with Botswana authorities and the Botswana Stock Exchange for over a year now. Yes. And the Botswana market is quite interesting. It's a, it's a relatively small exchange. Mm -hmm. um, they have very little liquidity in that market. There is lots of demand for securities, for shares, but there is not enough supply. Mm -hmm. Now, one, one great thing about ETFs that they can provide instant liquidity into the market because we can always create more units and mm -hmm. by buying more, mm -hmm. more underlying. So it was, it was great for, for, for them to, to create a new asset class um, and to get a liquidity into the market. Of course, we, for us, it's a part, as, you, as you mentioned, it's a part of our overall strategy to expand into, into African markets. Okay, now a lot of people obviously look at gold as a safe haven investment, but we've also seen a lot of problems with sure. uh, commodities, with currencies, and people not really sure whether they should be moving into gold or not moving into gold, and whether they should be moving into the gold miners mm -hmm. versus the ETFs. Just talk to us about the difference of going into an ETF versus bullion versus the yeah. gold miners. Well, there the, are the really two questions. One is, one is the difference between investing in gold versus the gold equities. When you invest in gold equities, you're investing in a company with all the associated risks by investing in, in a company, the management, the everything, whether they're going to find gold or not. Um, so you're investing in a whole bundle of risks. Um, and we've seen that, that the returns on the, on the gold miners have been extremely volatile, usually three, three times more volatile than, than, the, than the returns on the gold bullion. And the returns haven't been that great in, in rain terms. So Actually, what has been happening is that lots of, lots of professional investors have moved out of um, gold equities into, into, into gold bullion. Um, regarding why gold and whether the gold is safe or whether the gold is safe asset, um, yeah. you mentioned other, other commodities and other asset classes, th there are strategic reasons why people still invest in gold. First of all, uh, as regards the safety and the safe haven status, gold is a one of the sm small number of assets that is nobody's liability. Shares, bonds, everything, they can default. And that was the cause of the, of the, uh, cause of the current or the recent crisis. Now, with gold, you, p you have the physical metal, you don't have a credit risk. So that's what attracts lots of people. Um, as far as the currencies are concerned, gold, lots of people consider gold to be a currency. And given the problems that currencies such as the dollar on one side and euro on the other side have, People say, well, maybe let's let's start moving some of the some of some of our investments into gold as a protection. All right. And now, when people invest in gold ETFs, do they incur the risk of having to pay capital gains tax taxes or other levies in the transaction, which would be the case if they were buying them in the United States, for instance? Well, uh, that is something that that depends from market to market. Obviously, every every country is different from from their tax tax regimes, and also. Um, Every investor has their own tax consequences or, or tax um, um, situation that, that, is, that is specific. So, so we, we generally don't give, don't give tax advice to the investors, but it, it, it would depend on, on, their, on their personal, con uh, personal situation.